Hey, this is Andrew with Redis Labs. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through adding a secondary index to existing data in Redis. So we'll look at my Redis database, which has a bunch of book data in it, and we'll add a secondary index using Redis Search. Redis Search is a source available module from Redis Labs that gives you the ability to, to do secondary indexing and querying and full text search in Redis. Uh, so we're gonna use it just to do some additional searches for books. Um, you can use it in your own Redis database by compiling the module and running it with your Redis deployment. Um, or if you use our cloud product, um, you can just click a button and you'll get Redis search uh, in your Redis instance running in the cloud. So whatever you want to do, uh, if you just want to play around with it as well, there's a Docker image you can use. Uh, so you just download that and run Redis with Redis search already set up in there and you can try some of this stuff out. So let's open the Redis CLI and experiment with some data. With me, Andrew. I need the corner. Ah! So I'm gonna open up Redis CLI. We're gonna use Redis CLI for the examples today because it's a little bit clearer sometimes what's going on behind the scenes when you're in the CLI. But there are uh, client libraries available like Redis Search Pi for Python and many others. So the data that we'll look at today is um, from RU203, which is our Redis University course for Redis Search called Querying, Indexing, and Full Text Search, <laughs> remember? Uh, and uh, so that's where this data is from. And we have the prefix RU203 because that's what my data tool creates when it loads this data. And the, the, the hashes that we're going to look at um, start with book colon details. So I'm just going to list some of these hashes, hash keys, and take a look at that. Um, just as a side note, if you didn't know what a key was in Redis, you can use type to get it, and then you'll know what commands will work on it. Um, I know this is a hash, so I'm going to just h get all and use the key, and then we'll take a look at some of this data. Okay, so here you can see Here's my command, and this book is a book of literary criticism, very nice, by about Zora Neale Hurston, published in 2000. So you can see this data includes a bunch of different stuff for each book, like the description. This will be useful if we want to do full text search, uh, the ISBN, the author IDs, and then also you probably noticed this, but um, the key name itself, all these keys, that number 978, yada, yada, yada. That's an ISBN. Uh, if you're not familiar with the book world, <laughs> if you don't read books uh, or aren't familiar with this concept, um, books have a, an ID number. So that's what we use as part of our primary key. You know, if you, you think of a, a Redis key as sort of the primary key for this data, we use the ISBN. So the whole point of this, you know, this video is to expose you to the possibility that you could search around in data that's already in your database for something other, using something other than the key. Right. So let's say you wanted to expose this data in Redis and you wanted to let people do full text search on the description. Right. So that's what Redis search. One of Redis Search's really great features is we can create an index using this command that Redis search gives us in a Redis instance, ft.create. So we're going to create a secondary index. If you think of the key as being the primary index, kind of like the primary key, like I said, uh, in a relational database. We're going to create a secondary index and we'll just, we'll add fields as we go into the index, right? But um, let's start off with something simple like the description and we'll do, we'll add full text search. Okay. So we do FT create and we give it the, we give it the name of the index for creating one. So we'll, um, we'll call it the books index. Why not? Unless that's already, <laughs> unless that already exists. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay, so we have we're gonna create books index, and um, with Redis Search 2.0, we can say on hash because this is an index that follows hashes that already exist in the database, and we're gonna give it a prefix. So that's this command, this this option to FT create. When we say prefix, we're going to we're saying this index should follow keys that start with a certain specific set of characters, right? And we know that our keys start with this. All right. So we're saying we're going to give it one prefix to follow. 
the prefix is, is RE203 colon book colon details colon. So all those keys that start with that will get into this index. Or in other words, Redisearch will index all those keys. Now, you might think, oh, you know, can I do fancy stuff? Can I, is this a regular expression? Or maybe it's kind of like some of the other commands like, like scan or keys. Can you just give it a star? You can't, you can't do that right now. Uh, maybe someday, but uh, it has to just be literally the, the characters that are in the key as the prefix. Okay, so given that, I've entered those characters. And, uh, and the next thing that I'm gonna do for this demo FT create actually takes a lot of options. You can see here, this is the Reddit search documentation and I'm looking at the command reference over here, command reference uh, for FT create. That's the command we're talking about. It has a lot of options and we're only going to look at a couple of them today, but uh, the next one we're going to look at is schema. It's, you know, if you, if you need, if you know one, actually you're going to need to know a couple of these things, but schema is very important without using, without giving the index a schema, we can't tell it which fields in the hashes to follow, which fields in the hashes to add to the index, right? So we, we've been talking about, we want to do full text search on description. So we'll do schema description text. Okay. And so what that's saying is this is the start of the schema declaration. I'm about to give it all the fields it should index in this index. Description is the key, one of the keys in the hash. You can see it's right here. It's in the hash that I want to put in this index. And the type is going to be text. There's a few different types of fields you can put into an index. And we'll talk about a couple of those. But uh, for right now, we're just going to use text. That's the full text search field type. So. Once I create this, I have an index. It starts indexing in the background immediately. And um, we'll just take a look at some of the stats about the index. You can use ft.info, the ft.info command. See right here, there's my command. And I used ft.info to get some stats about the command. The most important thing sometimes when you're playing around with this is, were there any failures in indexing? And this can happen if you create a schema that doesn't match the actual structure of the uh, of the data. And I think what you know, the one example is like you create one that has a numeric field, but then Redis search goes and looks in the hash, and the the value of the data for that field is not numeric. Or maybe it's only not numeric for like five of the hashes, but the other hashes is numeric. You'll get, you know, hash indexing failures five here. Okay. But in any event, um, you can play around with this ft.info command and see all the cool things it does. But in short, we have a, what was that? It was book index or books index? Book, books index. All right. I just use a hidden command ft. underscore list that shows you all the indexes I've created in testing this. Uh, books index is the one we just created. Thanks, ft.list, books. Now I'm going to use the ft.search command. While I'm think, while I'm getting that ready, let's actually load up the ft.search docs. And because we might, we might need them presently. <laughs> um, so I'm going to look at my Reddit search docs. It takes a ton of options. We will not be looking at most of those today, but I'll have that in case I get lost here. But in any event, ft.search takes the, the index name as the first argument and then a query. If you just do one uh, command, I mean, if you just do one search term like dogs, then it, uh, it doesn't need to be in quotes, right? But if you do more than one, it does need to be in quotes. We'll take a look at that in a second. Okay. Let's see if we can find where, okay, there's one. Okay, I'm uh, I'm using uh, tmux and I'm doing a reverse search to search for the term um, that it found. So anyway, yeah, it looks like it found some some dogs. So that's cool. We found some. We did a full text search for dogs over our Redis data that was stored in hashes. So I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's really cool right there uh, by itself. But let's do some other interesting things, right? So let's try some other field types. Um, or actually, I was saying that you need quotes if you have if you have multiple search terms. So a search term would be dogs. That's one term. Cats is another. Um, this is a Boolean and. When you have two terms together, you don't have to say it's 
you know, if you were, if you're a programmer, you might think, oh, what's this is a Boolean and, but it's actually implied. So this is an implied Boolean and. Um, and cats. What is, anyway, uh, so yeah, dogs and cats. Um, you can actually say dogs and not cats if you want. If you don't like cats, I already made that joke in our RE203 course. That's not really that funny. Um, it wasn't funny then, maybe. But anyway, uh, dogs and cats, like I was just you know kind of implying, there's some binary logic options um, that are not binary, Boolean, Boolean logic. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Boolean logic uh, options you can do in here, like not. Nah. But anyway, this is an and, dogs and cats. Uh, and you can do, this is a full text search. All right. So having showed you, you know, having alluded mysteriously to the the uh, Boolean logic options, but also um, that you need to use quotes. What happens if you don't use quotes? Well, it doesn't work. Okay, that's why I was showing you that. All right, so we have search. Now let's add. Let's go next level. All right, for the next level, let's let's index multiple keys from the hashes and one of the keys well, let's index a numeric field so then we can do some different types of queries that that uh, get more complicated so we're going to need a new index um, let's just drop the index we created we don't need it anymore because we're going to create a new one and uh, we'll create a new one ft.create Let's just create the same name, books index on hash, prefix one, re203. Everything is the same here, schema. Let's even index the description as text so we can do, you know, do some interesting stuff combining the different types of searches we're gonna do. Uh, but now let's index something else. Let's index the published year, okay? Uh, you might have seen this in some of the scroll back, but if not, we have the year of publication for each book in the hashes, and it's a number. In Redis, everything is stored as a string, and then you know Redis sort of implies the type, uh, given what's in there, what the value is. But uh, so it looks like a string, but actually, if we index as a numeric field, then we'll get it as a number in the index. So uh, that's, this is what that looks like. So we're gonna say, you know, schema description text and then published year numeric, numeric. And that'll give us a search index, a Reddit search index that has now two fields in it, the description and the published year. And let's just, you know, because I don't wanna be surprised, let's check if anything failed, nothing failed. Good, no no uh, index failures. Okay, so we're gonna do something special. We're gonna do something very special. We're gonna search for dog books published. Uh, where should, when should we have them? 2000 to 2005, dogs. So dog books published between 2000 and 2005. Numeric, this is a numeric range. Okay, so this is the new thing, right? So let's break it down. Um, the at symbol. So when we do dogs, the way that Redis search works, if you just type a query in, like a search term is what this is called, right? We, we talked about that. So this is a search term. If you just type dogs in, Redis search, <laughs> what, what? I don't need to know what dogs means. Um, okay, if you type it in, then Redis search takes this term and it compares it against any fields in the index that are text type, and it does a full text search against those fields. Okay, so if we had a bunch of text fields index like title and description and stuff, um, this would just by default compare, you know, do this, do a search against all those fields. But once we start adding special, you know, non-text uh, field types in, then, you know, we want to do these special queries uh, for numeric ranges. That's what this is. And we have to start telling Redis Search if the exact field that we are, uh, we're applying a term to. All right. So that's the, that's my, uh, my spiel. And this is how that works. So the at symbol starts saying, okay, everything else after this is the name of a field. So published year is the name of the field in the index. And then there's a colon. Right. And that's saying, you know, after this is the special stuff, the special sauce that we're going to use for our query. And this is the special part. Um, this is a numeric range query. 
Uh, geo queries look kind of similar. If you can actually do a geo query, similar to how you can do uh, geo, you know, geo commands in Redis. Um, this is a geo query, but we're not going to talk about that. But it looks kind of like this, right? But this is a numeric range query. It starts at 2000 and it ends at 2005. And those are both inclusive. If you want to do exclusive, you put one of these in front on uh, open paren. But anyway, we're not going to do exclusive. This is an inclusive numeric range query. All right, so books published between 2000 and 2005. And let's see if we have anything in the index. Okay, we got something. We have something. Now, how many did we get? Um, this is you. This is a good thing to know. The ft.search command takes a limit option, and that's kind of like it's kind of like a limit and offset combined. So it's uh, it does both. But if you just do limit zero zero, uh, you just get the number of books that the query matched. So what did this match, or how many how many books were in there with you know that satisfied our query forty three. All right, um, if we just do limit one, uh, oh yeah, okay. So we'll start at zero, I think, and oh, actually, I don't remember. If you, let's see. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's limit offset number. So um, we're going to start offset zero. So the first, you know, it's zero indexed. So the first, uh, first item, the first search result, and we're only gonna get one back basically give us the first one starting at the first result. So the first one starting at the first result is Big Dog, Little Dog. All right. And it was published in 2003. Now what, you know, what's, you might be asking yourself, okay, wait, how do, why is this the first result, right? This is the first result because Redis Search decided this had the highest score of, you know, so probably... I, I, you know, we'd have to look it up, but I mean, if you look at this, it has dog in the title twice. That's probably important. And also in the description, um, actually the title isn't even indexed. So forget about that. It's just a description. So anyway, you know, you can get back. Sometimes what you'll get back from Reddit search is, you know, a bunch of books. They're in an order. Um, sometimes they all have the same score though. This is technically like the first result, but it's possible that you know, the first five or 10 results actually had the same score. Disregard all that though, it's not really that important. What's, what's important is that we did a numeric range query, which is pretty cool. Um, and we got you know hashes in Redis based on a, a numeric range on the publication year of the books and a full text search for dogs. So, I mean, you know, try that with just, just a normal Redis commands. You'd have to, you'd have to do a lot, um, just to get this basic example working. Um, so it's pretty cool. So that's, that shows you a couple different field types, right? We looked at the text field type and we looked at the uh, numeric field type. There are a bunch, there are a few other field types you can do. Um, yeah. Two dogs are opposite in every way, but are the very best of friends. You know, I think that I can't really find a better way to end this um, other than to focus on that. What a great quote, right? So to recap again, we had a bunch of existing data in Redis and we added a Redis search search index. We were able to do full text search on the description text, which is very good, especially if it's like an e-commerce site or something like that, you're searching products. And uh, we also got to do a numeric range query and we could combine those different types of queries within the same query. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you want to try it out yourself, like I said, we have a Docker image that you can, you know, it's on Docker Hub. So just search for Redis Search on Docker Hub. Um, we also have a, a free tier on our cloud product, Redis Cloud. You can just start a Redis deployment for that with that and then, you know, test it out and kind of see how Redis Search works. And you could also just compile the module yourself and download it and just install it locally in Redis or, or install it in your, your production Redis. It's awesome. And yeah, so uh, there's lots more stuff going on in Redis Search. There's lots more things we're gonna we're gonna learn about with uh, some future videos. So subscribe, and you'll learn everything that you could ever possibly need to know about Redis Search. Uh, it's gonna be great. Thanks for watching.